St. Rose of Lima, 3rd Order St. Dominic, 1617, Lima, Peru. St. Rose, the first canonized saint of the New World, was born at Lima in 1586. She received the name of Isabella in baptism, but one day her mother saw a beautiful rose drooping over the baby's cradle, and ever afterwards called her Rose. She was an obedient child. Her mortifications were most severe. She prayed, worked, and wept for the conversion of sinners, she excelled in her love for holy purity. She lived a life of simplicity and prayer in a small hut in a corner of her lather's garden, the birds would visit her and sing with her the praises of God. The Savior frequently appeared to her. Her devotion to the Passion of Our Lord was remarkable as were her own sufferings. Her bed was strewn with glass shards, with nails and thorns. She wore chafing hair cloth, her head was crowned with painful thorns skillfully concealed by roses. St. Rose died August 26, 1617. Her office was written by the eminent Cardinal Bona. Almighty God, giver of all good gifts, who deeds will that blessed rose, imbued with the dew of heavenly grace, should bloom among the Indians with the beauty of virginity and patience, grant unto us, thy servants, that, following the fragrance of her virtues, we may deserve to become a sweet odor of Christ. Quiti cum, vivit et reinat, in unitate spiritu sancte, Deus. Amen. Commemoration. St. Felix and St. Adeltus, Martyrs, 303, Rome. St. Felix suffered martyrdom in the year 303, and was joined by Adeltus, who shared his martyr crown. A painting of the 6th century depicts both of them with the priestly to ensure. Felix is an old man, but Adeltus stands on the right hand side, although he's young and beardless. O Ramus! We humbly entreat thy majesty, O Lord, that as thou dost continually gladden us with the commemoration of thy saints, so thou ever defend us at their petition. Per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum. Amen.